everybody. I just created this pen render engine where you can create your own textures and render them to the screen. And I published it to my studio called Helpful Studio, which if you're not following this and you're a scratcher, you should totally follow this because there's a lot of helpful assets here and stuff. And there's hundreds of product uh, projects like uh, there's this one that might help you if you need it. And you can change all these parameters, LED Y, LED X, LED rotation. And uh, let's try to center it here. It's a very useful tool if you're ever making a project that has LED 8-bit counting systems, and now it's centered there. Anyways, this video is gonna be about my pen render engine, because I said I'm too lazy to show you how it works. Maybe I'll make a YouTube tutorial about it. So I'm gonna make a YouTube tutorial about it. Here is the base project coded in. It's like this. But what you wanna do is hit C inside, go up here to File, Save to your computer, and then create a project and then don't name it yet because load from your computer we're gonna load in the thing we just got hit okay and then you name it because it'll replace the name okay so what you want to do is you want to take out all of the things that are here and by that all i mean is go to engine which is where you'll really be working in and just take out all of this and uh, these two, delete all of square and delete all of triangle, and also delete this. Okay, so now we've got the base project. What you wanna do now is, uh, well, there's the init function, which basically just starts up the project. And so now I'm gonna tell you uh, how to make a texture. So make a new list, and I'm gonna call this stick figure and now we're going to hide it of course and we go over here to make point on texture duplicate this make it so it says stick figure and go to all of these and say stick figure there is a lot of manual labor for making textures but it's still helpful i hope so Another important thing is to delete all of stick figures in the init function or else it'll get really buggy and weird. Okay, so here's a note. It might look like this is the type of project that needs turbo mode, but in my experience it actually doesn't. So just code that with that in mind that it's normal and not turbo mode. Okay, so in the init function, we're going to use the make point on texture block and for the texture, we're going to type in stick figure and then basically we uh, do the position of the point and the color and the thickness, and then it'll draw lines from point to point. And also at the end, you should probably make uh, the first thing again. So I'm just gonna put the position, I'm gonna quickly make a stick figure. Oh, also I didn't mention this, but this is using hue, saturation, value, and then transparency. It should be alpha, but Scratch uses transparency because kids website. So once you're done, you cut off this and then duplicate the first one and then put it back. Oh wait, for but for the stick figure, that wouldn't be good. So um, yeah, I'm just done. And let's see if I'm correct on that. So once you've made your texture, you want to use the create object uh, thing and call it whatever you want. I'm gonna call it person, position zero, zero, scale one, texture, stick figure, rotation zero. So now it should render, but it's not. Oh, I know why. I didn't finish making the texture. Uh, so we need to go to the render sprite, duplicate this if statement inside the repeat loop, and then put it just right here. 
and call it stick figure or whatever your texture is called and then anytime it says triangle or square you just replace it with stick figure stick figure stick figure stick figure all right i think that's done yay it renders oh god that is horrifying all right that is less horrifying there we go but also you might be wondering how a point to point design can make this and it's because i basically did this point here 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 basically you can go through a line and then go back and then that's how you can have things that stick out like these legs and arms so yeah that's how you make textures now i'm going to tell you how to use them and stuff so we have this person here uh and the object name is person so we can use all of these blocks and also this block distance from and then use the distance variable right here so you can go distance from this x y to this x y and then use the distance variable to calculate stuff and that's what the base project was doing was that the triangle would scale based on that uh but yeah now we can do things like so you should put a forever loop here usually move person by one zero and let's go over here and make it like negative 180 that's odd. Why is it doing that? I said to move it by 1xy. Oh, I know the problem. Uh, yeah, when this video comes out, that'll be fixed in the actual original project. But there we go. Now he moves across the screen. Kind of slowly, so let's speed him up. Alright. And now we can also, uh, we can set the position or change it. So we can also scale it by a factor or set the scale of. I'm gonna rotate, rotate him. Uh, then yeah, that's how you use the rendering engine. Thank you for watching. Um, did I forget anything? Uh, no, I think that's it. Uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comments and goodbye.